Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we discussed about a header menu means the category show inside a menu and is the admin side manage like this we did in last video. In this video we can cover notification like here we can show notification. First we need to cover in, say, in this video like a send notification. Suppose anybody can place the order, anybody can register the new account. So we need to send a notification to the admin so admin know new account register like all thing we can do it inside notification step by step i will explain what i can do so before we can start for this video you are new in the channel during the series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy in script just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it here okay so let's start now so before we can start, we need to create a new table for the notifications because suppose you are placed the order. So where we can store, so we need to store in a tables. So please carefully watch what I am doing because of this is the notification work. You can use any projects, not for e-commerce website, not for this projects. You can use any project. So just you can click on the new <coughs> and after you can type here notifications and just add us for new columns first is id okay so we need an id like a what type notification means the auto increment id need after who is sending so user id sometime guest doing so we don't need a user id but we can store the user id so user id no okay we don't want to need primary just remove and here we can make integer here you can pass null next one is like a url where do you want to redirect once you click on the notification so we need to redirect anywhere any place so just we need a url so 255 nulls another notification is a like a <coughs> message so do you want to see the message what type message he sent like a new users explain new user created new order placed like this like this we can do so this is the store inside a message so where care 255 nulls next one is like is read you are read not read zero means not read one means read so we can use it like by default zero means not read after we can do it like created at and updated at so this is the notification tables suppose we need any other field so we can add but like mainly this field we need inside a notifications okay so now i will click on the save button so notification tables successfully created once i click on the save so 100 percent create and you can set here notification table now we need to create first model so simply you can go to app inside a model and inside you can create a new file notification model dot php and you can copy anything whatever do you want to like means uh, any model you can copy let's copy color models and i can put here and after i can change the class name here i can change to notifications okay get single you can leave it other thing we don't need so just remove right now okay after we can need in future so we can add so here is the notification table created and notification model successfully created let's go back again and first we can do is like a place order so i already add some item inside cart just click on the checkout so is already there all information fill up i just do is a cash on delivery because cash on delivery works so meaning about like paypal and credit card also work for the notification so i don't want to pay and i don't want to do anything else just i put okay is required so i can do it okay so let's go back again and i just copy notification models and i'm going to http controller and here you can see it like a payment controller suppose you follow this series so you know better than me what i am doing okay so here i can put notification models let's scroll down so here you can see checkouts here you can see add to carts update place order so once place the order so here you can see it like a checkout payment we are redirect to other way so here you can go so checkout payment first year checking is a cash so is a cart clear but we forget last time i think we need to send email to cash so just you can copy for this line for the email and you can put here before cart clear you can put this line here so you can receive the emails okay because we have forgot to add i think so this results now here we need to add a url for the notification <coughs> means notification data store 
So, simply you can copy this name notification model and here you can put insert record. We can create a function. Please carefully watch what I am doing. Okay, insert record. So first we need to declare for this model notification model in above. Um, just go. Okay, already declared. So we don't want to declare again because I forget. I declared not declared. So here is a first ID is a user ID. So you can see user ID. Just you can copy and you can put here user ID. So here you can make a, like a condition if is a login cannot login so simply is not empty auth users id otherwise here is already there inside get order id so we don't want to do so get order inside already there so just you can use like a dollar get user id okay like inside is already store inside a order db so it's already there second let's go back again second is the url so simply we need to copy the URL. So we need to create a URL. What type URL work? Just go to admin side. So here is the URL. Once you click, so where do you want to redirect? So this is the meaning about URL. So right now we are doing the orders. So just we can redirect to here. Okay, otherwise we need to redirect inside detail page. So our dependency, I can say we can redirect to detail page. So simply we need to copy this URL. Otherwise do you want to redirect here? So you can copy this URL. I think always we need to redirect detail page because detail always showing the what a detail. So we need to redirect for here. So simply you need to copy this link and you can put here like a URL and you need to make dynamic for this ID. So dollar get ID. So this URL done. Next one for the message. So this is the message we need to show. So here we can write a message new order received like you can see it next step message. So if we can do it new orders placed received or whatever do you want to like you can do it okay. And you can use like hash and after we can provide a order ID. So here is the order ID is there suppose here you can go to orders db so it's there so we can show it some id there order number so this is the order number we need to show suppose i am going to latest order number so you can see it like this one detail page i go so here is the 12 showing we need to change because of we ever not showing detail page this is the reasons but we can show order number also inside detail page i will short out now don't worry about that okay so we can put like this get order and we can show here order number now Let's sort out first order detail after we can continue because I don't want to forget. So simply you can go to views here. We can go to admin here. You can see it like a orders inside. You can see detail.blade.php. I just forget. So just you can copy paste and we can change the name and here you can change the order numbers because I don't want to forget this reasons. Okay. And here you also you can change order number. Let me check search here not use any place. Okay order numbers let's save and just close and i just go back again and i click on the detail page so you can see it here's the order number you see it's working okay so this is the reason i need to check it's done now you can see it here like order number now we need to store all things inside a database so simply first we need to pass user id second one we need to pass like a url and third one we need to pass a message okay now we need to create a new function inside a notification model so here is the already there notification model so simply we need to create a static functions inset records and here we have passed three parameter so just you can copy paste and you can do it now we can do it here like this dollar save is equal to new notification models and we can save one by one all the parameter. First is the URL user ID. So we can do it dollar user ID. Let's copy paste so you can do it very quick. So URL, so URL and message to message. Now just save. Okay. So let's test now is working, not working because saving is done here. And also we have fire like a 
notification model inside a new function and also is a parameter there. So, let us try to save like cache on deliveries works. So, after we can do it inside a strap and paper. <coughs> let us go back again and I just click on the place order. Just I click. So, sending the emails first of all because of the taking time. So, I open my mail trip. So, you can see it here is the order found. So, just I can show you. taking time because of sending here email you can see it here I just click on blade PSP and here you can see it another one so don't worry taking time this reasons otherwise you can find out very quick you see order certainly placed there so you can go to mails and I refresh here so e-commerce order order in invoice and here you can see it like order number date of date of purchase everything you can find out you can see it quantity which quantity do you want to buy everything is in set colors this is a we don't need a tracking number because we already passing why we need okay let's go back again and we can refresh the page here sorry we can refresh the notification page so you can see it is a new record available user id and also is the details so for the copy and i go to back and i just paste here so you can see admin side showing the detail so this is the order number <coughs> sorry about that this is the order number you can see it here so means working very well and also you can see it like a new order placed and this is the order id you can see it like hash after so notification work very well so same thing we need to copy paste in a stripe payment success and paypal payment success we need so just copy paste and no need anything else just copy paste and here you can check like get order perfect we don't want to do this is the PayPal success payment, next one is the Stripe payment success. So, just you can put also here after emails, other before emails, whatever place do you want to like, you can do it. Okay. So, you can see it, get orders. So, payment inside we have done notification. Now, suppose anybody can create a users. So, we also need to send a notification. So, auth controller, just go to here is the logins, here is also login. Here is a register. So, we need to fire here a notification. So, new user register like this. So, simple you can declare again. First, we can already copy, we can paste here. Okay. And now is a already there user ID. So, save dot ID. So, this is the user ID. Okay. Who is a sending notification. Now, here we need a URL. So, just remove this one. We can put URL for the admin side. So, user customers. So, is the customers and just copy and change here. And here you can type, just remove and you can do it new customer register. <coughs> register. And also you can paste and you can make a hash. And after you can put his name. So, you know, okay, this customer registers. Okay. After your decision, whatever message do you want to write, you can write your side. User ID, URL and message we are done. Now we need to declare for this model in above. So just copy and paste. Okay, you can see it here. So this is the done now. Now we need to work in admin side because admin also accept delivery means change the status. So we need to send emails and send a notification emails we have done so just we need to work as a notification just go to order models and here you can see change status so it is already there so simply you need to put here your order successfully updated just you can pass like this message and your order id so here you can do it order number and just go to payment controller yes and we can uh, where is the here is the order number so just copy and you can put it here and here you can make it the url like uh, just go to here and i click on the admins and i just click on the order so this is the url we need for this users so we can pass for this url and here you can change user id so save dot user id sorry here we don't want to change anything i forget 
I need to change inside order models. So here is the order numbers. Oh my God, sometimes confusion. This reason I always close the file. Here is the change. Here is the order number, and I go back again. I copy this URL and I can put here. And here you can type your orders updated. Your order status updated. Like this, you can type. updated okay so once you can update so we are sending the emails also we need to send a notification i can show you so don't worry about that now we need to declare for this one I mean notification model above and here you can change to get orders okay everything is good now we need to declare for these models and we can put here okay now is good let's go back again and refresh the page here in an admin side. I just go order first. Where is the orders? Orders. Now you change the data like a in progress. So it's sending the emails. This isn't taking time. Otherwise, you can find out okay, is already found. Your order data is updated. So here you is showing the user ID. Which user ID? So means is generate the issue because of is not user ID. Okay, I need to change here ID to user ID because always receive the one because the order model inside there is the id this results okay so just go back again and remove this one and you can try again to update the status now i can do status is the uh, delivers so you can see it here like your order status updated in your order number and here you can see it like a url where do you want to redirect because of his uh, available notification after click here new menu we can add notification after you click on so we can redirect like a listing this reasons okay i mean i know is detail pos possible but we can redirect here is a listing is good idea so i hope you can understand what i explain and also you can see it here is the email always received you see it okay so in this video i have cover notification so next video we can do is a listing admin side here and also when to show is a user side here because one query wise we can short out like unread and read notification everything in admin and users. Suppose do you have any question for this video like how to send a notification inside a database. So you can comment out and do you want to like this video. So please like and do you want to see like this video more. So please subscribe our channel. And thank you for watching error solutions.